It's me, Nim Sony. Welcome back to another tutorial video. Today we're going to be going over camera relative inputs. In the last video, we created, let's have a look at our script. We created a vector 2, vector 2 to create our inputs in a vector and then applied it in the form of a vector 3 to our position to move our object around. Let's have a look at that running once more very quickly. When I press up, it goes forward, down goes back, left, right. Now, the problem with this is that it's in world relative uh, directions. So when we press up, we're moving forward in the world's direction, which is a problem because when we actually rotate our camera diagonally, and I'm going to move it back over here as well, and now I press up, it's going diagonally. Because as you can see, now our camera is no longer facing in the same direction as the world. As a result, the world's ve vectors are off compared to the camera. So what we want to do now is actually rotate our inputs so that they are applied in the form of the camera's directions. So instead of going in world up, we're going to be in going in cameras forward. Um, world forward, we're going in cameras forward. Okay. Now let's have a look at how we do that. The first thing I'm going to do, in fact, is actually place an object in the center of our scene, 0, 0, 0. And I'm going to call that cam pivot. That's our camera pivot. This is probably not how you should do it in game, but it's uh, just something that I'm going to do to really, really quickly be able to rotate our camera around the center. So now that I've placed our camera into the cam pivot, as a pair as a child object of it if I rotate the cam pivot let's have a look in the scene view here if I rotate the cam pivot we get the camera rotating an entirely around the world let's have a look in the game here I'll rotate it you can see it rotates around the object there in front of us first thing we're going to do is actually go into our inputs and create Oh, in fact, we already have one. We have a mouse X axis, which would allow us to rotate our camera by simply moving our mouse. And that's the input that we're going to apply directly to the cam pivot. Okay. Let's have a look in the code once more. So what we want to do, firstly, we need access to the transform of the camera's pivot. We don't need to access the camera right now. That is something we would do in a real game. But right now we're just doing it for the sake of understanding our inputs. This is nothing to do with camera movement. Okay, so transform cam pivot. Pretty easy. Make sure it's public so that we can access it from the editor. And then what we're going to do as well, in fact, is have a float heading. This is pretty useful because I can just apply our Y angle directly to that. Uh, you'll see what I mean in a moment. So I'm going to do it right at the top of our function here. Cam pivot dot rotation equals quaternion oop, dot Euler oh we don't need that zero 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 and then we're gonna place heading there whoops wrong thing there we go heading okay so our y-axis in the quaternion Euler which gives us Euler angles into a rotational form is heading now all we have to do is change heading in fact I need to zero it out first is change heading by the amount of our mouse movement. So heading plus equals input dot get axis. Oop, no, not horizontal. Mouse x. So again, we access the one directly from our inputs. Again, we want to multiply it by time delta to ensure that we're going in um, an acceptable speed. And let's say we go in about 180 degrees per second. Oop, we need to multiply. So remember, time delta time gives us per second. 180 degrees is what we're going to multiply that by. So we get 180 degrees per second. And we're going to apply that when we're at full mouse movement. Let's save that and switch back over to the game. Grab our, cam uh, our object over here. Which was it? Cube 1? Nope. Cube original. There we go. Cube. I'm going to rename that to player just to make it easier for me to access it. And as you can see in our script here, that our cam pivot is now visible. It's a public variable. Just drag our cam pivot into there. And hey presto, we have an access 
an accessible variable now which references our object. Let's press play and now when I move my mouse you can see it rotates the world. Well it doesn't rotate the actual world, it rotates our camera at exactly 180 degrees per second if my mouse was moving at exactly 1. Which of course is something completely arbitrary because your mouse can move at any random speed. So you can just change that however much you want to control the sensitivity of your mouse. Let's ignore that for now because that's all we needed for the, for the camera movement. What we really want is to make it happen to, to convert our transforms input to our camera's input. Camera direction. Okay, so what we're going to do first, we've already created an input direction, an input vector. Now what we can do here, in fact we need access to our camera. So here I'm going to create another public transform, cam. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to create a duplicate of this line. So I'm going to comment it out, we can see the original now. And instead of adding input x in the x direction and input y in the y direction, we're going to do something slightly different. Firstly, I want to create a new vector, in fact two new vectors, one called cam f, which is of course our forward direction, and one called cam r, which is our right direction. This is going to be something very useful. Watch this. This is some way to do it. There's a lot of ways to do it. In fact, you should be probably transforming your, your vector into cam relative direction. But um, I like to do it this way. It's quite quick. So cam f, in fact, let's make it equal to cam dot forward. Whoop, if I could spell, that would be useful. And then, of course, cam r is equal to cam dot right. Whoop, there we go. So that gets our forward direction of the camera and that gets the right direction of our camera. Now the problem is our camera could be angled downwards, which it is by 20 degrees. So we're going to have some y included into, into that. We need to zero that out. So cam f dot y equals zero. Do the same for cam r. Now of course we have a non-normalized vector. You always must vector uh, normalize these kinds of vectors. Ooh, actually we need to make it equal to itself. Normalized, there we go. And cam r, do the same for that. So now we have some very useful ve vectors that we can use, which determine the direction of our camera, but without all the vertical angles. When we apply that to our position, remember we've made an, a copy of it. In fact, I'm going to bring that copy down here. We can see what we're going to do. Instead of applying it like that, we're going to apply it like this. So firstly, we want the cam forward direction multiplied by our input Z, oh, input Y even, as well as our cam right direction multiplied by our input X. And of course, we still want to do the time delta time to that. So make sure you put the whole thing in brackets. <clears throat> in fact, let's just grab this entire section here so that we get exactly the same speed and multiply it by time delta time and then multiply it by, by our speed as well. Save it, switch over to here and remember we still have to make sure that that camera is attached to our variable here, cam. There we go, that's sorted. Let's press play and just like magic, now when I press up, we go up, down, left, right, but if I rotate my camera, up, down, left, right. We have full directional control with our camera. And you can see when I hold the up key, as I rotate the camera, it goes in the direction of my camera's facing. The same thing happens when I hold right. So as I move around, he sort of rotates around. Very, very useful. Now, of course, if our camera was moving around the actual player, then, you know, we'd be able to just move around the world like that. We haven't done physics yet, so I'm not going to bother doing that in this video. In the next video, we're going to start working with actual cam uh, character physics. So we're going to be using a character controller, and I'll probably explain the differences between that and an actual physics rigid body as well. Goodbye!